Hello Year 10s, I hope you're all okay and hopefully now you've completed your title page and your mind map. What we're going to look at this week is a tonal drawing of a cup and a biro drawing of a coffee cup, both of which I put these um, images onto the PowerPoint onto Teams so you can then print them out and work from them. I would like each drawing to be A4 in size and obviously we are working from them on um, separate bits of paper to then present in your books. If you are struggling with getting paper or anything can you please just make sure you let me know and I can get materials sent to you. But it's just about that communication. Okay, so we'll start off with our tonal drawing. So we're going to look at the ellipses at the top, which is called like the squished circle. So we're kind of looking at that. So I'm just going to sketch in that first. Here. Bringing that around. Like so. And then it's just about bringing that down around here. I'm just thinking possibly in here. And then looking at the handle, which doesn't start on the edge. It comes in. If you think about it, your handle's going to come in and around. Okay. So if you kind of do this and around here, so you can see in the picture, it starts and curves around the cup. Your, your handle doesn't start here. All right, okay, so you've almost got that shape, that line here should follow that curved line here. So should, they should actually be the same, and then that one there is go straight, so then that should almost be like a little rectangle, not a rectangle, sorry, a right angle coming down across there, and then you can then use that to then bring down. So that's my outer curve, which comes into here, and then that one brings round and goes to the edge, which then, and follow that one here to round in here and bring that one up that one comes around that curves that curves around there again and that one comes into there so then you can see okay this we see and then that one there comes around in here so you can kind of see how then you're bringing it around I just move my paper so you guys can see that better and I can use my rubber then to follow my lines so it's about using this kind of right angle here following that line so it follows it round and down here and that line then just comes underneath here okay so that line comes round and down that line comes in and stops when you hit this line here so it curves there okay so it's kind of making that handle come almost like that so then it becomes 3d and then you can just change that angle there to make sure it goes in around there okay so it's just about making sure they all fit in then looking at the rest of the cup again we've got the rim here so the rim again will then show it coming in and around there Okay, so you kind of have that 3D place and then just making sure everything curves in and around. This one here comes out behind and making sure you've kind of roughly got that shape there. Once you've done that, you can then start to apply your tone. Um, when you're adding tone, so on this image here, it's crosshatched, which again, I'm absolutely happy if you want to work with that. So just think about when you're doing your crosshatch. So it's kind of almost working with your little lines to showing where it is going to be darker and lighter and the best thing is you're going to need your rubber then to really kind of put in those highlights and making sure you're showing those bits or what I would do if you are going to be thinking about even cross hatching you need to think about how each of this is curved so every mark making that you need to put on needs to follow and emphasize that shape there okay because if you start doing kind of just straight lines straight across here you're going to not you're going to almost lose that kind of cylinder shape that we want okay all right just going to change that bit there and then it's then just looking at your image and looking at where the darker areas are first so i'm going to just start putting in some darker pieces kind of round in here to start bringing that in here and underneath here and then you can start slowly to build it up 
really looking at those images, looking at where it's lighter. And start to slowly build it up. And it, I don't mind it, like I said, being crosshatched. I kind of almost think it kind of gives it that lovely kind of more confident, textured, kind of sketchy kind of drawing. Okay, but like I said, make sure that you're kind of curving your crosshatch to make sure you don't lose that kind of cylinder shape that you're creating. Okay, and work amongst and around it. Okay, you don't have to kind of work on one piece, one area, kind of work around make sure so that the whole cup is just really kind of showing and bringing it and starting to come out to be in that kind of 3D shape, all right? So you can see, you can slowly start to kind of bring it out. So even over here, when I get to this point, you can see there isn't anything. So that's when, again, your crosshatched will just be that little bit wider and then left to nothing. So where over here, the darker areas we're really working on over the top, when you're doing the crosshatched, that becomes more spaced and more um, spaced out and lighter with your tonal pencil. So it's almost thinking about your mark making and how light and how dark you're going with that. All right, so just be confident with it, kind of enjoy it because it's a, it's a simple-ish shape and that should then just be brought alive and come alive with, yeah. brought alive and come alive with the cross hatching that you're doing. All right, so work in the shape and in the, kind of um of the cup all right so that's what i would like you to do all right and obviously you'd work on yours more than what i'm doing currently but you can start to see how by working on it it will come alive once you've done that again classic i think it'd be quite nice to almost have your mug bit of tea and maybe have a nice little cup tea coffee stain on it just on the page so that then it kind of brings it back and brings it into the project over it so not much and do that kind of just afterwards quite confidently on top of the tonal drawing okay so that's your tonal drawing all right and due to my child now crying on my legs i'm going to just pause it and then i will do the burrow drawing okay thank you